This math knowledge practice test question for the ASVAB and PICAT says, which of the following pairs of numbers represents a perfect square and its square root? So for the ASVAB and PICAT, I'd strongly encourage you to be familiar with your perfect squares and square roots for 1 to 20. So let's take a look at these one by one. Now this first number is going to be our perfect square, and this second number is going to be the square root of that perfect square. So we can see that 16 is in fact a perfect square. That said, the square root of 16 is 4, not square root 8. So A is not correct. 25 is in fact a perfect square. Uh, but that said, the square root of 25 is 5, not square root 5. So that one's not correct. 125 is a perfect cube. It's not a perfect square. So that one's not correct. By process of elimination, you should be able to say that D is correct. And if you take a look over here, you can see that 289 is 17 squared. So 289 is a perfect square. And the square root of 289 is going to be 17. All right, so that is that one.